Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker. For today's lesson, we're going to be going over with how you model division using arrays. We have kind of a brief word problem here. It says, Chris Haney borrows two books per week from the library. How many weeks will it take to borrow 14 books? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an array that represents the information in this brief word problem. But of course, the most important part is to really read and comprehend and understand the word problem, understand what's being asked. Two books per week, right? How many weeks will it take to borrow 14 books? So 14 books will be the total amount of books or the pro total product of books, but two books are being borrowed per week. So think of a multiplication problem, two times blank, right? Because two is the number of books per week, but we don't know the number of weeks. We don't know the number of weeks, so that's our blank, would be equal to 14. So what we need to understand is the relationship between multiplication and division. Multiplication and division are opposite or inverse operations. So two times blank equals 14 can also be represented as 14 divided by two equals our quotient. Now some people, you know, some young people know that 14 divided by two is seven. So therefore, they would know that it would take seven weeks to borrow a total of 14 books. But let's also create an array. Now, in an array, we have rows and we have columns, all right? So our first number in our multiplication problem is the number of rows we have. The second number would be the number of columns. So the columns are rep represents the weeks, the rows represents the number of books. So we got two rows, because we're getting two books every week. So that's our first column is our first week second week and we're going to do this we don't know how many weeks that we'll need that's what we're trying to find out right but we know that we're going to have a total of 14 books and 14 is an even number so that means that you know i'm not going to have just like one dot in you know one of these columns so i got one two one two that's four six eight ten twelve 14. So I got 14 dots, which is, represents 14 books, two books the first week, two books the second week, third week, fourth week, fifth week, sixth week, seventh week. So that also means that it will take seven weeks to borrow the total of 14 books if two books are borrowed every week. And the purpose of this, or one of the purposes of this, is just to show the connection between multiplication, division, and array models. And the array model is very good because it shows a visual representation of what's actually happening when there's a multiplication problem and even a division problem. Because we can also, what we can also do is, in terms of division, we can say that there's a total of 14 books. Each dot represents a book. And we divide it by two. How many groups of two? How many groups of two do we have? All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can also use array models to show division just as we use array models to show multiplication. And that's today's lesson.